New Jersey scientists helped to prepare the world's biggest physics experiment for its first te test run, which took place earlier today, and are now eager to see it in full-scale operation. The Large Hadron Collider was designed to shed new light on the origin and nature of the universe. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Nearly everything about the Large Hadron Collider has to be described in superlatives. From the supercooled magnets that keep speeding protons on opposing racetracks to the extremely high energies at which they will collide. From ultra-sensitive detectors the size of office buildings to streams of data that can only be handled by a worldwide grid of computer networks and from its multi-billion dollar price tag to its purpose. The goal of this enterprise is to study the universe and the laws of particle physics, both at the very small scale and the, and the largest distances you can imagine. The collider itself occupies a ring-like tunnel roughly 17 miles in circumference near Geneva, Switzerland. Its home is the European research lab called CERN. But the project is global, truly global in every other way with major contributions being made by scientists in places like Princeton and Rutgers. Princeton Research Dean Stu Smith cites a long list of physicists who helped bring the field to this point through work here and at the nearby Institute for Advanced Study. If we look at, at what the group is doing today, there are six uh, senior faculty members. Uh, four of us have been quite closely associated with the uh, Large Hadron Collider. My role lately has been as the uh, sort of the head referee, the dispenser of tough love to one of the two big experiments, the so-called CMS experiment, or compact muon solenoid. Up the road at Rutgers, the particle group is also very strong and is also working in CMS. Thousands of scientists have already devoted large fractions of their careers to this project, more than two decades in the making, and many will spend years analyzing the results. I should point out, this one experiment has 3,000 scientists from about 60 countries in it. Uh, and and uh, so for only four or five of us, what role can we have? Well, fortunately, we are able to bring, I think, experience and, and some of the uh, uh, technology and in, in, in physics analysis that allows us to uh, have a larger impact. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Princeton.